Previously on Living the Fine Life, we arrived to the beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico, spent three lovely days here, and now we are on our way out to enjoy the next part of our Puerto Rico vacation journey. Today, we're on our next part of our journey. We had a great time in San Juan. Now we're going to Arecibo. Yes, we're heading to Arecibo. We're gonna go to a place called um, Cueva Ventana. Welcome back to Living the Fine Life, Fine Fam. Today, we're in Aventura Cueva Ventana in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, as we continue our vacation and journey throughout the island of Puerto Rico. It's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna tell you more about it shortly. Hey guys, so we arrived here to um, Cueva Ventana, so we're gonna check in. We already got our tickets online, and let's do this. So we're all set with our safety helmets, and now we're gonna walk to the caves with our tour guide that's gonna teach us things along the way. Only two can make the famous coqui, coqui sound. That one is saying coqui. It's more like curi, curi. But that's why each coqui, they make a different sound. That's why they are unique. 17 species in the island. Let's see what else. Those birds, that one, migrate from South America, arrives in February, we leave the island in August. In Spanish, Julian TV. In English, Black Whiskered Vireo. This is awesome. So, a lot of walking, but it's worth it. There's a first cave where we're heading in now before um, getting to the window caves. Yeah. I love a great adventure. Shaheen and I love adventure and learning new things along the way and that's what this tour guide is doing he's speaking as we go and teaching us about the land and the animals the history and the preservation of these caves now let's go into the cueva ventana which is what we're here for the window caves we're about to enter and i'm so excited to see the very popular view that we're about to embark let's go So we entered, we're entering into the second cave and guys, we're about to see the window. We're about to see the reveal. What you see ahead of us is the opening of this cave. And this is what's called the window in the cave. And there's a good reason for it. And it's because you're about to see the lovely view. Wow, look at that. Isn't that remarkable? It's a little hard to get with the camera, but it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is the park's main attraction. This area is known as station number four. And now you can understand why we call the cave Puerto Ventana the window cave, because people identify this as a window. So by the way, this opening is 680 feet above the level. 680 feet above sea level. The name of the river, Grand River of Arecibo. The road, 123. That road will connect the city of Arecibo with our closest neighbor, the city of Futuado. There is a beautiful lake following that road over there. It's called Los Bocas. The small village down there is known as Jaguar. On the mountains, here, Arecibo, behind that Rufalo and then Arruntas, and on the left side, far away in the horizon, that's Hayuya. Behind us here, all the things that we have learned here with you today, the bell holes, stalactites, stalagmites, columns, and the green stuff is mildew, algae, Mold in Puerto Rico is known as limo. Very complicated. So here, guys, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to 
you take all the pictures. Here you can use all the flash you need. Remember, in 10 minutes, we gotta go back again. Any questions, let me know. I'm here for you guys. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. People, uh, I know that you're struggling so hard to take the pictures, but it looks like a bicycle, right? Okay. Is that okay? Take us a picture? Yes, I was. Survivors from, uh, from India. There's a lot of things that we have here in this part of the world that doesn't belong here. Palm trees. The ones that you drink coconut water from, those are not indigenous to America. They're introduced by humans. As many other things are not okay. part of America. They're not in a fossil record. All right, guys, so we just left Cueva Ventana, which the English translation is Window Caves, and that was really nice, exactly what I expected. There's so many type of caves and different cave tours here in Puerto Rico. I definitely learned so much. Our guide and instructor was really good, really knowledgeable, really informative, um, truly enjoyed it. Uh, we paid about $33 for two people. Um, it is $19 per person. If you purchase the tickets individually, it'll be about $43 with taxes. However, they have a two-person package. Check that out on their website. A two-person package for $33. So you're actually saving about $10 in perspective. Um, but it was really good. It's about an hour and a half. But guys, yeah, it was really, really, really nice. I love the, the window. It's like when you're going up to the Cueva Ventana. So, right? So there was two different caves. We were at the first one. And then when you were going up the stairs heading to Cueva Ventana, it's like, this whole open space from the cave and the view was remarkable i mean even in person such a lovely breeze um the temperature does drop um drastic it's like from 80 to 85 to now suddenly 70 but it's such a fresh air being that it's so hot and, and muggy here um today i mean it was perfect so we're heading to isabella puerto rico it's on our way down and we're gonna check in our airbnb there so far everything's looking to par with our schedule we're not doing something nothing too restrictive but we do have a game plan of what we're doing to be organized so that we could fit the most in our schedule and still relax and still enjoy from the island um so this is really nice i have put my hair up because it, it was hot <laughs> so we're gonna check into that airbnb then we're gonna go um to see another site and hopefully the beach <laughs> have arrived to our airbnb in isabella i love it super cute um apartment number six so let's just go check it out inside guys i heard this area is absolutely beautiful and by what i see on the way here already it is here is shaheen we just parked the car beautiful there's hobo's beach nearby that we're going to be in tomorrow there seems to be like a pizza theme happening. There's a lot of pizza shops, a lot of bakery shops, bakeries in the area, beach. I mean, it's so such a nice community. What happened? Yeah, that's a panaderia down there. Posteria. Posteria is, is similar. Reposteria is like a panaderia. <laughs> it is, it's like a panaderia. Nice. This is our Isabella Airbnb. <gasps> Super cute. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. I wish I was in this one more days. Babe, I should have booked this more than one day. Like, we're going all over the island, guys, and I'm like, 
I should have booked this more than one day. We're going all around PR, so we're literally trying to tourist around the whole island, so that's why we can't stay here more than one day, but all right guys so that's all for today's video it was an adventure filled day like i'm so grateful for today but it is the end of the night we're gonna wrap it up here there's another adventure waiting tomorrow check out as we're gonna embark another part of puerto rico that's right so make sure that you like and subscribe if you like seeing our adventures and our eating yes and our adventures and our eating <laughs> and the places and the beaches and the people and the food word and everything in else in between and where we landed and what we did and what you can do here too guys thank you for watching living the fine life and as we always say stay well be blessed and continue to live the fine life